what's up guys this is VHX Relentless here and today I'm here to bring you some Call of Duty 4 gameplay as opposed to Modern Warfare 2 gameplay uh, it's gonna be a domination match on BOG the gameplay is pretty average uh, you know I've only played about 10 day, uh, ten hours on it like something like that I'm not a very high level I'm not that great at the game but more importantly what we're here for is to discuss Call of Duty Black Ops as I'm sure most of you know, the multiplayer tra teaser trailer was out a couple of days ago. You've probably all seen that. If not, you should probably go check it out. I'll probably put like a link in the description or something. Really cool. Looks great so far. They haven't revealed too much, which is good. But um, yeah, it's got people guessing and stuff. I don't know. There are a few things that caught my eye. Um. First of all, in the video, you see <clears throat> this uh, thermal camera thing. I'm not sure whether, I think it's equipment, because you can pick it back up and stuff, but... Yeah, this thermal camera stand kind of thing, which would kind of be cool, because you could put it in, like, bomb A, and then you could go and defend bomb B or something like that if you're playing Search and Destroy. Uh, yeah, it could be really cool. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's going to be good or not. Uh, another thing you see, the ballistic knife. But yeah, the ballistic knife, spets knife, knife. Um, this kind of seems like the just the same as the throwing knives from Modern Warfare 2. Um, I'm sure it would pretty much just be the same as what the throwing knives are in, in Modern Warfare 2. Look pretty cool, Shoot, shooting knives and stuff. That'd be cool. Um, next thing, you see a remote control car bomb thing, which you can control. Uh, I'm assuming you can control it for a three kill streak. Now. It sounds overpowered for a 3 kill streak. I'm not sure, but it's kind of good to have an attacking alternative to a UAV because in like every other game, all you have for a 3 kill streak is the UAV. So it's kind of nice to have a kill streak that you can get kills with. Hopefully, it's not too overpowered. Maybe you only have like you have a certain time limit, maybe like five seconds or something to control the little car. Otherwise, it could be probably overpowered. Um, I'm hoping the spawn system in Black Ops is better than in Modern Warfare 2 because it's really annoying when you're like, um, I don't know, say you die and then you spawn like in near exactly the same spot and just get killed again by the same guy. That's really annoying. I'm not sure what they could do to put a fix to it, but hopefully they can do something, sort something out for a spawn system. Because uh, it's really annoying, as I said, when you just get killed over and over by maybe the same person. Um, in the multiplayer teaser trailer, you can see camos on the guns, so I'm assuming you can unlock camos similar as you can in um, Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Um, hopefully, they'll bring back golden guns. That was cool in COD 4. I'd, I'd like to see a return to golden guns. Um, customized kill streaks. I'm pretty sure are back, as I said about the RC bomb. Uh, care package makes a return, and some kind of heat-seeking missile thing for a five kill streak. You can see. Um, hopefully, the kill streaks in this game aren't as overpowered as the ones in Modern Warfare 2. I mean, it's really gay when you join a domination match and there's like a chopper gunner in the sky, and you're just getting spawn raped over and over by the chopper gunner. I don't know. Um, they wouldn't, the kill streaks wouldn't be as overpowered if people would just take a miniature to take it down with cold blooded class or whatever. Uh, dedicated servers, there's rumours of there being dedicated servers. I'm not sure whether they're announced for the PS3 and the Xbox as of now, but um, they're going to be on the PC dedicated servers. So that'll be cool. Uh, that'll fix the lag problem. And it'll probably stop hacking, or I'd, I'm pretty sure it'll stop hacking. Uh, hopefully there is less hacking in this game because in Modern Warfare 2, like everyone has hacked 10, and they have like all the attachments, all the titles and emblems, all the camos and stuff, and it's really annoying for someone who has done 10th Prestige legit like I have. So uh, when you see people running around with like their 10th Prestige and they haven't even played nearly as much as you have, it's, it's kind of a waste of time makes you feel like you've wasted your time so hopefully there's not much hacking in this game hopefully no hacking but they'll probably find a, find some way or another to hack the game so you can get stuff I don't know 
Uh, a lot of people complained in Modern Warfare 2 that grenade launchers, noob tubes, were overpowered. Now, I agree, but it was it was easy. All they had to do was make it so that when you're using a grenade launcher, you lose per one. That's an easy way to just stop grenade launchers being overpowered. They would not be as overpowered if you lose perk 1, because perk 1 is, has like a one-man army, scavenger, sleight of hand, all the things that make grenade launchers overpowered. So, if they would have just done that, I'm sure they would have been a lot less complaining. They would have still had to deal with AT4s and RPGs, which are really gay. AT4s are a level 1 unlock in the launchers, secondary weapon category. I'm not sure whether they're going to do handguns, shotguns, launchers and that, machine pistols, whatever. Um, for secondary weapons, I think they should just take it probably back to handguns, maybe shotguns, I don't know. Um, the Spaz-12 is going to be in Black Ops, because um, I'm sure it makes an appearance somewhere. But I'm not sure whether it's going to be a secondary weapon or a primary weapon this time. I kind of hope it's back to a primary weapon, because um, it's cool to have uh, shotguns as a secondary weapon, but it's also kind of overpowered, in a sense. Um... <clears throat> Another thing I have to, like, criticise about Modern Warfare 2 is how all the overpowered guns you get are unlocked at such a low level. I mean, apart from the AK-47, which is a really powerful gun, uh, at any range, really, that's unlocked at level 70, but for the rest, you get, like, the UMP-45, a level 1, in the, first, in the form of first recon. Now, that's, like, the most overpowered submachine gun in the game. Uh, it's like a two or three bullet kill from across the map, and like no matter what range without a silencer, silencer makes little difference. And it just seems kind of, it's quite accurate for a submachine gun, it seems overpowered to unlock it at such a low level. Maybe if it was a high level it would be better, but you unlock all the sick guns at a really low level, like you get the Scar H at level 8, which is a really good gun, really accurate but really powerful at the same time and it just kind of seems like why put it at such a low level when they could have I mean they have a few good guns at the later levels but why have the F2000 as a 61 unlock there's no point it's not that good it should have been a lower level and then they should have stuck the AK-47 ACR UMP and stuff like that up at a higher level and then kept the not so great guns at a lower level also you get like the AT4s and stuff at a really low level. The Spaz-12, which is probably the best shotgun in the game, is a level 1. And it just seems like they should be a higher level. I don't know. Um, Treyarch are going to be making Black Ops, as all of you should know. A lot of people didn't like COD 5, and I don't know why. I thought Call of Duty 5 was a pretty good game. I enjoyed it. It was my one of my first Xbox 360 games I had, so for for quite a while I was just playing Halo 3 and Call of Duty 5, and I thought it was a great game. I don't see what you could have to say was bad. The campaign was pretty good. Uh, the online was good. I enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure Treyarch can do a good job on Black Ops, even though it seems like Black Ops has just been really inspired from Modern Warfare 2, but hopefully they can learn from a few of Infinity Ward's mistakes and stuff like that to make it a good game. Um, it looks like they've put a bit of kick on the guns, which is good, I guess. It's pretty good. I feel they're making bullet drop, but I don't see how that's going to work. I think that's just a rumor. Because uh, the maps in Call of Duty aren't really that big. Like, not really big enough for bullet drop. It's kind of good that they're going to be putting a bit of recoil. That'll save like submachine guns like the UMP-45 from being overpowered. I'm pretty sure the UMP-45 won't be in this game, but um, yeah, with a bit of kick on the guns, that'll kind of solve the problem of overpoweredness. But, uh, I don't know, you always get that overpowered submachine gun like the MP-40, MP-5, UMP, and stuff like that, so hopefully... Hopefully they won't be so overpowered. Um, I already have, for those of you that view my videos regularly, I mean like my subscribers and stuff, uh, I have video plans for Black Ops. Uh, because I'm getting it release date, I've pre-ordered it already. Um, I'll be getting it first day, or maybe a day early, I'm not sure. But um, first day, no matter what day I get it, I'll be recording my gameplay. 
I have plans what to do, gun reviews, montages, whatever. But yeah, I do have plans already, and I just can't wait really to start recording. Recording is going to be a lot easier in Black Ops, right? This is probably what's got me most excited, the theatre mode. At the end of the multiplayer teaser trailer, you can see he's kind of, um, like, clicking through his clip at the start. Um, it kind of seems like the Halo 3 theatre mode. You have, like, first person, third person, uh, you can take screenshots, record, which so I think you'll be able to save clips and stuff like that, so it'll be a lot easier to make montages, like, if you miss a really sick shot and you're not recording, it's always really, really painful. So um, with this new thing, uh, this new theater mode kind of thing, it'll be a lot easier for people like me to record stuff because you won't have to be recording every game because if you miss it, you can always just go into theater mode and record the clip from there instead of just recording it on the game, which I think is a really good idea. I've been wanting them to do that ever since I got my Dazzle. Um, I, th I think it's really good. Um, so yeah, other than that, I don't have anything more to say. Uh, looking forward to making new videos for you guys. Hope you enjoy them when they come out. Um, thanks for watching the gameplay. It's not that great. I did like, what was it, 44 for 17, something like that. Call of Duty 4, really good. I'll probably do one or two more gameplays, maybe a montage, I don't know. I'm only borrowing this game off my friend for a little while, so... I'm not sure what's going to happen. So anyway, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you in Black Ops. And in my next videos that I do. Thanks.